This is the latest film by Mira Fox, whose work I'm not familiar with from before. But apparently she's also an actress, and I have to admit that after seeing this, I am curious to check out her other movies as well, because this one surprised me. I mean, I showed up mainly because of Mia Wasikowska, because she has a tendency to pick projects I like. For example, Damsel and Piercing, both recent very interesting movies that I enjoyed a lot. And in this one she plays a puppeteer who has a show with her husband, played by Damon Harriman, who I didn't realize before I sat down I was even familiar with. But apparently he's the guy who played Charles Manson in both Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and Mindhunter. And you know what? He's really good in this. Really good. Even better than Wasikowska. In fact, I feel like her performance was a little bit underwhelming. Not bad by any means, but compared to him it felt a bit uh, tame. But those two aren't even my favorite part of the movie. That's the direction, editing, the score, the soundtrack and the writing. Because all those things work together seamlessly to create a very interesting tone. Wrapped around a story that went down some paths I did not expect and did not see coming. And you know, this is a period piece and I'm not sure even if they specify when it's set, but it feels very medieval-y and they live in this small town where there's witch hunts and whatnot. And to be honest, I didn't see the trailer and expected this to be a dryish uh, period drama. But that is not the case, because this is actually a dark comedy. A very dark comedy. In fact, it has some of the darkest comedic moments in recent memory. So dark and twisted, in fact, that I wouldn't be surprised if some people didn't even get it was going for laughs. But I love myself a dark comedy, and this one executed it more or less perfectly. And the thing that perhaps impressed me the most was how it transitioned between different tones. There was this one sequence in particular that went from drama to basically slapstick comedy, to some really messed up humor, then back to drama and one of the most horrific and intense scenes in the entire movie. And then immediately back to comedy again, all within one sequence and a few short minutes. And the shift in tone was seamless and effortless and it didn't feel awkward or clumsy at all. Now that is masterful filmmaking right there and kudos to the whole team behind it. And I already mentioned it, but I really liked the soundtrack and the score here too. Because it was a bit unexpected as well, but it just fit perfectly and accentuated the tone brilliantly. To the point that with a lesser score this wouldn't have worked nearly as well, so a lot hinged on it. But I mean the writing was a strong point as well, because a lot of what made this work uh, also relied on that. And I guess basically everything contributed to making it all work as well as it did. Because I didn't really have any major issues with this at all to be fair. I mean the third act could have been a little bit more energetic I feel like. Because up until that point, especially the first hour or so, I had a really good time with it. I was loving it, but then it just lost some of that energy. By no means all of it, but some. It slowed down a bit and uh, I feel like it began to focus a bit more uh, on the underlying story here. Which is a weird complaint, but there is a bit more to the story than one might expect at first. And a lot of that comes more into play in the later part, and I just cared less about that than the other stuff. But on the other hand, without it, it might have uh, ended up feeling a bit flat. So it definitely added some dimension to it, and uh, the movie felt like it actually had something to say because of it. So I can't really call it a problem either, but it just wasn't my favorite aspect of the movie. But in general, I really liked this quite a bit and genuinely loved parts of it. But does that mean I would recommend it? Eh, not necessarily, no, because I feel like you do need to have an appreciation for dark humor to really enjoy this. But if you do, then yeah, definitely check this one out. Uh, otherwise, maybe skip it, or maybe don't. After all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel, because that would be fantastic. And if you'd like, you can also support me on Patreon or PayPal through the links in the description. And as always, I appreciate you and thanks for watching.